Hey everyone, I wanted to give you just a real quick uh, overview of your homework that's going to be assigned and due on the 11th, on Friday the 11th. Really uh, important note here is that on the 11th you will also have a quiz. Um, so this is a shorter assignment uh, because you'll also have the quiz to do. And this assignment's over a secondary function with diminished chords, and this is not on your quiz. So your quiz will be uh, will contain all of the secondary dominant stuff that has to do with the fives of. So five of x, five of five, five, six, five of five, five, six, five of two, all that stuff. But you won't have any of this diminished of uh, five stuff on this quiz, okay? Um, but this will be due on the same day, just as in a, a homework assignment. Okay, so zooming in really fast. Um, this should be pretty straightforward if you've looked at the videos. Um, uh, secondary leading tone chord one and two um, that are uh, will be up on uh, YouTube for you to watch. Um, but just talking through the concepts, right? You're writing them out of context here you know, completely abstractly. So let's look at this first one here, um, just to work through the thought process. You have to write a seven diminished six, so a triad, this is very important, of five, okay? So you're actually writing the chord in the key of the five, right? So it, this key signature is sort of lying to you a little bit. Um, in D, the five is A. So now we're writing the seven diminished six in the key of A. Okay, so how do we find the root for that? Well, we go to that a, right? And we want to build a chord on seven. So that would be the key of A, G sharp, right? That would be G sharp. Um, and then we stack up our thirds. We make this chord, the seven diminished chord, but we fit it into the key of A, right? So the key of A is three sharp. So fat cats go G, B, D. That's it, right? So we put it in first inversion, Put the B on the bottom, and then D and G sharp. And that is your chord right there. Okay, important to note, right? This is a a, a triad, right? So on the videos, I think I, I tacked one of these on right at the end because I spent most of the time talking about this like fully diminished, half diminished paradigm and how you talk, You, I want you to think about like half diminished major, fully diminished in minor. When you deal with a triad, it doesn't matter. You can do it in major or minor. So you can just think, oh, we're building a chord, seven diminished six in A major. And just think of that key. Um, to counterbalance that, right? Let's look at, say, this one. So this is D minor one. We're building the fully diminished seven of five, right? So we're actually not in the key of one flat, right? The, the key signature exists. Um, we're in the key of whatever five is. So in the key of D minor, you think D, E, F, G, A, right? So we're in A. Well, this is like the same, right? This is D and that was A and that was A. You remember some from the first one. However, since this is a seventh chord and it's a fully diminished seventh chord, to build this chord properly, to build it fully diminished, we want to think not in the key of A major, but we specifically have to build this chord in the key of A harmonic minor. Okay, so let's try that. You think A, then we go down a half step to the root of this chord, right? Down a half step from A is G sharp. That's the harmonic minor thing, right? In the key of A minor, there would be a G natural, right? Because the key signature is no flats or sharps. However, right? <laughs> However, we're thinking about harmonic minor, so we have to raise that seven up to G sharp. And then the rest of the chord, we just fit into the key of A minor, which is no flats or sharps. So there's G, B, D, F natural, G, B, D, F. That GBDF is a fully diminished seventh chord, right? You just go back, check our clef, right? We were in bass clef, G sharp, B, D, F. That's your chord, which is almost right. This is almost right. Um, this is a German augmented six chord currently. So we have one problem that that B flat has to be canceled out. Okay, so this is where the key signature is not your friend anymore, right? It's it's going to trick you because this chord, right, doesn't care what the key signature is. It's not in that key. It's actually an A minor, right? So you just have to remember, cancel that out. If you don't, like I said, you get a German six, which is super cool. And that's a chord you'll look at later. Um, it's important to really think about the 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 focus and clarity and really detailed you know, way of, of approaching this because when you're doing these chords later, you're gonna have other chords that are, well, that's a B natural and this one's a B flat, and you're gonna have them mixing together. And it, it can get very confusing if you don't really slow the process down and think, okay, 
that's how this chord works. It is in this key and be very specific, you know, focus, detail. Um, yeah, and I think that's one of the best things about a theory curriculum is that it's a time where you study music, right? But your time studying music is not in the moment. It's not just like trying to channel intuition and playing and you know, emotion and all that stuff, which is great. It's a time to study music where you're you're thinking about it completely abstractly, out of the moment, academically, like a scientist, right? And uh, that's how I want you to approach this. Um, again, as you add more, I think you'll you'll benefit from that approach. Um, and then the bottom is the same thing. You're just resolving them. And the resolution should be pretty straightforward, hopefully, um, because you've been doing it a ton, right? So again, another way to think about these resolutions is this is really not in D, right? We're in a different key. We're in the key of the five. And the five in D is A. So more or less, right, you're writing seven fully diminished seven, right, two, one in the key of A. Does that make sense? Um, this one, again, I'll, I'll talk through it just because it's a little bit tricky. Um, but we just did this up, up top here. We're thinking seven fully diminished seven of five to five. And this five is A. However, to build this chord, right? Since it's fully diminished, it's like we're resolving the chord. We're thinking of the chord, not in the key of A major, but in the key of A minor. And that will get you the right chord tones. And this one, just again, is a hint, right? This is literally this chord. It's the same chord. Because this is a seven fully diminished seven of five, right? This is a seven fully diminished seven of five. This happens to be in D minor, this one's in D major, but that doesn't matter because we're thinking of this thing, the fully diminished, right? Hope that makes sense. It's it's a little bit confusing. Um, it'd be much easier, frankly, if I just said, hey, build a fully diminished seventh chord. Oh, okay, hey, build a half diminished seventh chord. But again, if you've, if you've watched the videos, the thing I want you to stress is that, and to think about is that that's just not very fast. Right? You have to build all these thirds and you have times to make mistakes. If you learn this process and you know your key signatures, it's instantaneous then. You can do it really quickly. And just think, you know, G sharp BDF, right? And that's the f seven fully diminished seven of five, right? Um, theoretically in a key, okay? Hopefully that makes sense. If you have questions, again, just reach out. I'm happy to chat through any of this and, and walk you through it again.